Hi, my name is Eric Slater. I'm the Chair of Sociology and Anthropology at Manhattanville College, and I'm going to talk to you for a little bit about the discipline of sociology and what we do in our department. Sociology prepares students for a wide variety of careers, ranging from social work to education to work in the nonprofit sector with community organizations to the legal field as well as policy making and on occasion even marketing as well. If I were to summarize the field of sociology with one word it would be inequality. Sociologists are concerned with a variety of inequalities, class inequalities, gender inequalities, racial and ethnic inequalities, international inequalities. The existence of inequalities is well known to everybody, but the exact nature of those inequalities and more importantly how we understand and explain those inequalities is what distinguishes sociology from other fields and approaches. We offer a wide range of courses. Um, we have courses in race and ethnicity, courses on gender and global perspective, courses on environmental sociology, courses on cities like New York City, uh, world cities, courses on globalization, on indigenous peoples, on subcultures, and a range of other topics as well. In a sociology class, for example, a class that I teach on the sociology of New York City, if we examine a topic such as homelessness, we first begin with people's perceptions of the problem of homelessness. Uh, many people have an image of a homeless person in New York City of a single man, uh, older, pushing a shopping cart around the street. And this does capture an important aspect of the problem of homelessness, but it is only one and uh, it is a bit misleading as well. In point of fact, the majority of homeless people in New York City are single mothers and their children, and they are filling the shelters in the cities uh, for some time now. Now, from a sociological perspective, we try to understand both the experience of homelessness um, in terms of what led a person to find themselves in that situation, but more importantly we try to understand the structural factors behind homelessness. So whereas if you approached it from an individual, you might look for certain deficiencies or lack of opportunities and resources that led them to become homeless. From the structural point of view, we examine questions of the housing market, the power of real estate. We look at the provision or lack of affordable housing and the different forces within the city that help us to account for such a problem. Now, there are many, many problems that sociologists study, and homelessness is just one example. And there's quite a bit of opportunity in our department to study those that are of interest to our students. We study these not to simply be aware or to despair that they exist, but we study them in the hope that we can come up with realistic solutions. And so another very important aspect of the curriculum in our department is the study of what we call social movements. Social movements form when people decide that problems can only be solved through collective action through organization, through protest. And the social movements and the effects that they have on society are a very important part of what we study in our department. If these sorts of things interest you, social problems, social inequalities, the environmental crisis, problems of world inequality, problems of inequality in your neighborhood, and the like, sociology will interest you deeply and maybe you'll find yourself a home. We welcome you. We would love to see you in the fall, and we'll have lots to talk about, and look forward to meeting you all someday. Take care. If you have any questions about the Sociology and Anthropology Department, feel free to 
shoot me an email at eric.slater at mville.edu and have a great day.